I'm hit! Today we're going to be taking an in-depth look at the Trapper Wolf Black Series helmet from Hasbro. Hasbro has re-released this exact mold multiple times. There's a Luke X-Wing helmet, there's a Wedge X-Wing helmet, there's a Trapper Wolf, which is what we're looking at today, there's a Carson Teva. Before we get into the video, I'm sure you noticed right off the bat, oh my gosh, that shirt, I need it. This is the new Jedi Fallen Order anniversary shirt that's being dropped on clankerscloset.com. The shirt comes out on November 15th, 2023 for the four year anniversary of Jedi Fallen Order. Crazy, right? Four years, bro. 2019 was four years ago. If you aren't already, go and follow Clankers Closet on Instagram for all the updates, sneak peeks, and product information if you're in to looking cool and still being nerdy. To start things off, this is the box. It's big, it has angles, it has a lid, it has a bottom, it has things inside. It's your standard Hasbro Black Series box. Nobody cares. This is what we're here for, okay? Look at this beautiful bad boy, okay? It's a nice X-Wing helmet, all right? It's got all the X-Wing things. It's got the visor, it's got the little microphone, which doesn't work. Really unfortunate. I would have loved to have played some games and had this on, like Star Wars Squadrons with this being a working microphone, whoa. But the detailing on it is actually very nice. The, the weathering and the decal work is all applied very well. And that's one of the reasons I actually really like this helmet is the weathering looks realistic. I have the Empire Strikes Back Boba Fett one, but it hasn't aged well over time. The visor's gotten a little foggy. It's on a shelf right up there. And I do love that helmet, but the rangefinder doesn't light up anymore. I did nothing with that helmet. I, I literally just put it on a shelf and that's it. I don't know, it doesn't fit my head right. It's just, it looks amazing, but for being a helmet, you can't really, at least for me, maybe it's just because I have a small head, I can't really get away with wearing it properly, which is why I have this one. And because the Book of Boba Fett look for Boba is peak. Dude, one day I'll be able to get through a whole video without talking about Boba Fett. Not today, but one day. One flaw from this helmet that does kind of suck about it compared to the Luke Skywalker and I believe the Wedge Antilles one is the visor is fixed. On the Luke one, it can actually slide up into the helmet. So I don't know what's going on there. I wish it could have slid up, but it's really not that big a deal. You're gonna have the visor down 90% of the time. It also has some really nice padding in there, some little ear holes. The pads are removable with just a little bit of Velcro and you can adjust them to fit your head better. You can also do this. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Oh, frick my hair plugs. I think this helmet normally retails for about a hundred bucks, but I got it for 30% off on Amazon. So it only came out to like 70 after tax. And honestly, that's a freaking bargain. So if you're in the market for a new helmet or you really like X-Wing helmets, go pick one up now. Link in the description below. So there we go, dude. The pads are actually like super comfortable. Like I'm not gonna lie. It's the perfect amount of snug on my head. Like I can jerk my head around. Uh, and it really doesn't move. I mean, it moved a little bit, but where it's really not super snug is doing this. Primo content. But yeah, the mic is adjustable with a little wire and then this button is what does the sound effects. So we'll see what this is actually like. I think if you tap it, it does like R2 sounds. When there's speakers inside, but it's not super loud. And I think if you hold it down, it does like ship noises. Oh shoot. We're chasing Mando. We're, we're arresting someone for speeding. Come on, get us in a dog fight. Can we shoot something, please? Here we go. Come on, Razor Crest, stand down. I'm hit. Ah! All right. Well, when the lights actually come on in here, it's cool, but it doesn't do it super often. Come on, shoot something, bro. Okay, that's actually pretty sick. Reviewing this, I do think it could be a little louder. There's three speakers in here and it's just a little faint. They probably did that for like eardrum safety or whatever, but I'm always listening to music on full blast. So maybe that's just me, I don't know. A really cool feature are the lights that pop up on the side of the visor because it looks like you've got X-Wing uh, cannons firing out of your peripheral vision. So I love that feature, that's super sick. Overall, I think I'd give this helmet like a solid eight out of 10. I think it looks great, but I think the thing 
things that kind of take it back a little bit are the visor not being able to go up because that is just something that the older versions have. So for it to not be on this one is just weird to me. And I think the speakers could be a little louder. I think it could be maybe a more exciting moment. I know that it's Dave Filoni's helmet, so it's scenes with Dave Filoni in it, but like I would have been cool to give us like some actual X-Wing pilot simulations. Now I do know that the Luke and the Wedge ones are like the Battle of Yavin, the Battle of Hoth. So honestly, if you're in it for that feature, it might be better to go with the Luke and Wedge helmets. But my personal plans with this are gonna be to customize this. I'm building my own X-Wing pilot cosplay. So it really doesn't matter. I'm just happy to have it. It's, I think it's sweet. It's gonna go on my wall up here next to Boba. So yeah, I, I love it. Well guys, that's gonna do it for the X-Wing helmet review. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, may the force be with you.